Hey friends, it's Carolyn back with the Walk on Water Show. And today I am going to demonstrate how you can put together a prayer strategy to pray against the bondage of worry, the emotional stronghold of worry. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. First, I have a question. You notice the Christmas tree is still up. Do I leave it up or take it down? Leave me a comment. Let me know. And if you hang on till the end of the show, I'll tell you why I'd like to leave it up. All right. So we start with the belt of truth. And uh, if you feel like you have to take a lot of notes, don't worry about that. I'm going to have a link in the description to get to these verses. So the belt of truth is the main um thing part of the armor because it holds everything together the breastplate's connected to it the sword hangs in it. It, it god's word is truth and so we need to understand that this verse is going to be the truth that we hang on to when we are faced with the lie that is telling us to worry so for me uh for the belt of truth, I've chosen Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. I'm using the CSB version. Use whatever version you like. Use whatever verses you like. So I'm going to start this as a prayer. And I'm just going to name the verses as I go through in the parts of the armor. If you want more details about the armor, I'm going to have a link for that in the description also. So lots of good stuff for you today. Heavenly Father, I come to you because I am struggling with this worry. And I know what your word says. I know that in Matthew 6, 26, you said, Jesus Christ, you said these words. Consider the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather into barns. But your heavenly father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Oh, Lord, you are saying I am more valuable than birds. Birds that you feed. Birds that you take care of. Lord, I realize I am too worthy to worry. Forgive me for the sin of worry. Forgive me and help me remember that I am valuable to you. You will provide for me, Lord. And now I want to cover my mind with the helmet of salvation. I want to cover my heart with the breastplate of righteousness. And I want to slip on the shoes of peace and go to battle. And I can do all that with these verses from Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. And they say, don't worry about anything. Lord, I am going to put that worry out of my mind. I am going to take it captive. I'm going to take that thought captive and refuse to allow it to settle in my mind. But in everything, through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, Lord, that's what I'm doing now. I'm praying to you, and I am thanking you because you will take care of this problem. You will take care of this bill. You will take care of this health issue. You will restore these relationships. And I thank you for what you're going to do. I thank you for the peace that you're going to give me because I am claiming this promise right now. As I present my request to you, God, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. I am claiming that promise. I am making it personal, Lord. And when the devil tempts me, I'm going to hold up the shield of faith, Lord. Thank you for this armor. And I am going to use Philippians 419 for that one. And my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Lord, you own the cattle on a thousand hills. You are abundantly wealthy. You created the world. You sustain the world. And nothing is too hard for you. And I know you supply my needs. And when I need the sword of the spirit, 
to wield that sword when the enemy attacks. I'm going to use Psalm 94, 19. When I am filled with cares, you have told me, Lord, that to cast my cares on you because you care for me. You have told me that no weapon formed against me will prosper. And so when I am filled with cares, you know what's going to happen? I'm not going to worry. You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen, devil? God's comfort brings me joy. Yes, Lord, your comfort brings me joy. You are comforting me in this worry, in this moment, bringing me joy. And it is by this armor, I dress myself in it. Lord, I pray it. I remember these verses and I will lift this up to you day after day, hour after hour as I worry and try not to worry. Give you all the glory in Jesus name. Amen. So friend, that is how I use these verses now, you don't have to use these verses. As a matter of fact, you're going to find in the description a link to 10 Bible verses about worry. I haven't put it all together quite yet, so there might even be 15. So you're going to find that link. You're also going to find the link where there is more expl explanation about the armor of God with these verses written down. That link will be in the description also. And there will be a, uh, a link to my book, Faith That Walks on Water, Conquering Emotional Bondage with the Armor of God. This is a devotional journal. It's a 60-day devotional journal. You'll be buying it directly from me in the link. So you will save a few bucks on it and you will also get an um, a, a signed copy from me and you will have your own journal there, your own devotional journal to take notes, to write down about what verses you want to use and really dive into worry even more. Thank you, friend, for being on this journey this month with me. Hang on for next month. We're going to learn something else that we need to know while we trust God to have a faith that walks on water. Oh, and why do I like to leave my Christmas tree up? As most as you, of you know, I am blind. Now, that does not mean I don't see anything at all. I can see the lights on my tree. So that's why I leave it up. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Do you enjoy the tree? You think it's a little much? Take the tree down, put, leave the tree up. Love to hear from you. God bless you. And please remember, you are too worthy to worry. Don't worry. Trust Jesus. See you next time on the Walk on Water Show.